earliest walk we've taken that I can remember. Oh, I got it! So Mickey, why would you pick up a hot dog off of the ground and attempt to feed it to your girlfriend? And as sweet as I think many believes the gesture is, there's no way that she should be wanting to eat a hot dog that fell on the ground. That's just pretty disgusting. As humorous as this might be, there's no way that this hot dog should be bouncing all around all over the place unless it's made of rubber. And if that's the case, that would explain why Minnie wasn't able to bite it. And yet and still, there's no reason why Mickey should be chasing after it. If nothing less, I'd be trying to get my money back for this rubber hot dog that the guy sold me. So I've got some questions about this scene. Okay, I'll give it to Mickey that he maybe not have saw the fork in the middle of the ground, but how is he able to trip over it? Unless somebody glued it to the ground, which would raise further questions. Why would somebody glue a fork to the ground? The old classic kiss someone in the animation trope. We've seen that a hundred times before. But to kiss Mickey Mouse, that would imply that this hot dog is an intelligent being, that it has life. Which even further cements the fact that Mickey should not be trying to catch this hot dog to feed it to Minnie. Snatcher, ma'am? Of course! 